Hello everybody, this is Joanne speaking here, and welcome to Paleo Reviews. In preparation for the new Walking with Dinosaur series, which will be coming to the United States in June, I once again revisited an old gem from my childhood. That, and I want to check out Actual Peak after sitting through a gargantuan headache of a movie that is Walking with Dinosaurs 2013. In fact, when I was ending my Paleo Review video on this darn movie, I did mention this certain documentary which will be the topic of this video. The Ballad of Big Al, aka Allosaurus, a special follow-up documentary of the original Walking with Dinosaurs series. This program was released around Christmas Day of the year 2000. It tells a story about an Allosaurus named Big Al, going from the time he hatched from his egg to his tragic death on a dried up riverbed. Not only that, but we get to see some behind the scenes stuff where it goes into some depth on some research of Big Al and how that documentary came to be in the first place. One of my favorite dinosaurs growing up is Allosaurus, and if I were to make a top list, I would have ranked Allosaurus as number three. I think watching this program as a kid definitely helped with gaining even more respect for this animal. Years ago, I saw this program on TV while relaxing in a hotel room during a vacation, and as you can imagine, everything about this documentary blew my mind, much like the original Walking with Dinosaurs program. Even if it's dated by today's standards and with new studies coming in, it's still a very worthy program to come back to every once in a while. On the subject of new studies, I want to bring up something before I continue talking about this program. Back in 2022, I was made aware by some friends that there were some very surprising studies being made on Big Al, aka the Allosaurus skeleton residing in a museum in Montana. According to a source I found by the Society of Vertebrate Paleontology, it turns out Big Al was Big Alice. Yep, you heard that correctly. There was evidence of Big Al being an adult female after tissue, called the medullary bone, was found on the specimen, which if you don't know what that is, it's tissue that appears on the bones of female birds during the progress of egg laying. Apparently, Big Al, or Big Alice, was pregnant. Jiminy freaking crickets. That changes everything. And pretty contradictory to what happened in the documentary from late 2000. Sheesh. That's the recent info on Big Al that I know of so far. However, this program came before that study was made, obviously, and during that time, Big Al was portrayed as a juvenile male. For the sake of that and this review, I'm still going to call him Al, he, and him. Now we're going to dive into what I liked about this documentary. The first thing I like about it is how it keeps the same format as the original show, but it does something different at the same time. Walking with Dinosaurs from 1999 is a nature documentary show with dinosaurs in it. Ballad of Big Al does that as well. However, Big Al is not just a random dinosaur with a name. He was based off the famous Allosaurus skeleton of the same name. When this specimen was dug out, there were signs of broken bones, infections, and trauma. Using these studies and evidence, this documentary was put together into a life story of what might have happened to Big Al when this dinosaur was alive millions of years ago. This is one of the aspects of paleontology, and that was really cool to see. Life as a carnivorous dinosaur can be very unforgiving, hence the injuries found on the bones. Let's not forget what happened to Big Al's middle toe. I want to give out a kind reminder that when injuries become infected, it is no joke at all. Infections can be fatal. Moving on to the next thing I like is how Allosaurus is designed. I really like the gray colors and the black stripes on this dinosaur. Even the black color around the eyes make this dinosaur look very intimidating. It kind of reminds me of a cheetah a little bit. Of course, Allosaurus isn't complete without the head crests, and they look really pretty when the camera gets up close and personal even though red crests are pretty common to use these days. As for the roars, they are really haunting. That's the best word I can describe the roars Big Al and his kind made in the show. Even though studies on dinosaurs making noises have changed, the roars of this version of Allosaurus are very iconic, just like the design itself. The only issue is the shrink wrapping around the face, but it could have been a lot worse. Another thing I enjoyed is the introduction to predator traps. There are numerous ways to go out in a dinosaur world, but getting trapped in mud or quicksand and being unable to escape, that's an awful way to go. Not even predators are safe if they decide to come after you while you're trapped. Either you die from a predator getting to you, exhaustion, or starving to death. Two Allosaurs and a Stego ended up dying from exhaustion after getting trapped, 
But Big Al got lucky because he witnessed one of the Allosaurus getting stuck and decides to nope out of there. Although pterosaurs, like these little guys who come to scavenge on these carcasses, are safe as long as they just land on the carcasses themselves. Obviously, don't just somehow stumble and fall down into the mud, or that's a wrap. As for anything else, the special effects, especially the animatronics, once again, are absolutely stellar. And much like the original Walking with Dinosaurs, the dinosaurs, including the main star himself, felt like natural animals. Thank goodness it doesn't mention one single word about Allosaurus or any other dinosaur evolving for supremacy. Now, I only have one nitpick about this show, specifically Apatosaurus. While I do like how this documentary introduces a new sauropod, Apatosaurus is just a Plodocus but with no spikes. Yes, both of these dinosaurs do have a similar body structure and position, but the Apatosaurus design could have been slightly more different, especially the face. The face is exactly the same, and it doesn't help that it's shrink-wrapped the same as well. That's pretty much the only problem I have, but it's a small one though. It could have been a lot worse. Now, onto my favorite scenes. I will admit that my number one favorite scene of this whole show is the hunting scene at the Salt Plains. I'm sure there's plenty of you guys out there who can relate to this. Seeing a group of Allosaurs, including Big Al, use a strategy of panicking a herd of Diplodocus in order to target a sick individual, was very smart. They even mentioned that even a sick Diplodocus can still defend itself, so instead of risking any injuries or worse trying to attack it, the group of Allosaurs wait for this sick dinosaur to collapse. Also, the music track during this part where the Allosaurs panic the herd was really epic, and it's one of the most memorable moments of this program. It's enough to have it be stuck in your head in my opinion. I wish I can play a sample of this music here, but I don't want this video to get copyright claim. But this music is on YouTube for others to listen to, so it's something at least. Another favorite scene of mine was towards the beginning, where it shows Big Al's ghost appearing in the museum and looking at everything around him. Imagine being a night shift guard and seeing that either on a camera or in front of you. It would be pretty spooky to see a dinosaur ghost roaming around in a museum at night. At the same time, it is bittersweet to see this because this is a reminder that Big Al was once a living animal who sadly met his demise. But like I said in my Walking with Dinosaurs review video, dinosaurs may be gone, but their legacy has numerous ways of staying alive. And one of these cases in the special would be the fossils, hence Big Al's almost completed skeleton. In conclusion, Ballad of Big Al is still a great documentary to check out even today especially if you're a fan of Allosaurus. This program has stellar special effects, memorable and epic music, impressive camera work, and a bittersweet yet great story about a once living dinosaur. In terms of how I rank this program, Ballad of Big Al, aka Allosaurus, deserves a 10 out of 10 sickle claws. I know I ranked the original show the same amount of sickle claws, but Big Al's documentary deserves this rating too, in my opinion. Did I mention that this special came out on exactly Christmas Day? Good grief, it's pretty much all like, Merry Christmas, here's a dinosaur documentary about a dinosaur dying an awful death at the end. Oh boy. How ironic. In case you guys are wondering, yes, I'm already aware of the new information about the new Walking Dinosaur series coming out, including what each episode will be about. From what I've seen, it looks like this new series is going to go down the same path as Ballad of Big Al, and honestly, I'm all for it. I'm taking a short break from Paleo Reviews until the new series comes out, and I hope to also do Jurassic World Rebirth when it comes out eventually at the beginning of July. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see y'all later in another video.